Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to clone a Git repository using Jenkins. So we're going to be working with a Maven repository. So let's go to Google and we're going to search for sample Maven app, enter, and you're going to find out this first result. And this is a GitHub repository. So if you click on it, you're going to find out here all the Maven stuff and this is a git repository, a github one. So we're gonna clone this repository using Jenkins. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a new item. So let's create a new job and we're going to call it like Maven job for example and this is going to be a freestyle project. So hit OK and now let me introduce you a new concept which is SCM which stands for Source Code Management and this means where your code is located in this case our code is located on GitHub and the Git plugin works for GitLab and for GitHub so in this case our code is located on Git so we're gonna copy the repository URL this is the repository URL so we're gonna copy this let me copy this all and we're going to paste that in here and as you can see this is all we need to do if we go to advanced we can add the name of the branch that we want to clone if you want to clone a different one but in this case we're cloning the master branch because normally that's the branch that we're going to be cloning this is the master one so this is the branch that we're by default specifying in here so in this case we don't need credentials because this is a public repository but in the future we're going to be building our own GitLab server and we're going to be learning how to use authentication so that's pretty cool let me click on save and that's it now if you click on build what's gonna happen is that the git plugin that you installed it's going to go to this repository and it's going to clone that so let's look for this build history, execution, console output and as you can see this actually was success. So you may be wondering, okay, this actually cloned this repository but where is located the code? And let me introduce you a new concept that is a workspace. And a workspace is the place where the Jenkins things occur. For example, in this case Jenkins is cloning this repository and it's cloning that to a workspace and every single job has a workspace and all the things that occur within that job are happening in that workspace so let me show you if we go to our console and then we try to do something like docker exec dash ti jenkins bash and you go to your var jenkins home workspace and you hit enter and you hit ls-l you're gonna find out workspaces for all the jobs that you have executed so in this case we want this maven job which is the one that we're executing right now so let's go to maven job and if you enter in here and you do an ll or ls-l you're gonna find out all of the files that were cloned using git and how do we know that these files are the original ones? Okay, if you go to Google and you go to the GitHub repo, you're going to find exactly the same structure. So this is Jenkins, source, palm, and readme. Jenkins, source, palm, and readme. These files are hidden, so if we just do an LA, you're going to find those files but this is exactly the same repository and please keep in mind that Jenkins always clones those things to the workspace of the job so remember that everything that happens in a job it's happening in our workspace so having said that we already know how to clone a git repository and your git repository is going to be cloned in the workspace so from there you can modify files you can access those files and you can do things so this is it for this video i'll see you in the next lesson